All right, we are talking about the magnetic field. Um, so, this is magnetism one. Uh, the magnetic field, we use a B for that. And the magnetic field is uh, the lines, the visible lines of force extending from the magnet into space. Important things about this points from the North Pole to the South Pole. <clears throat> and then the unit for the magnetic field is the Tesla. And we use a big T for that. So, magnetic fields, and this is really kind of important, they loop. They form big giant loops. So if we're going to draw the magnetic field around each of the following, our magnetic field is going to go this way, it's going to come this way, all the way around, back into here, and then inside the magnet it's going to do this. So, and we'll talk a little bit about that. We have probably already talked a lot about that. So, loops around. from north to south. And hopefully uh, in class you got to see how these magnetic fields looked around your compasses, uh, around these magnets with those compasses. So they're looping around. That's how this magnetic field works. Sorry, that should have connected up right here. So <clears throat> when we break, oh, okay, these aren't broken yet. So in the vicinity of these, Sorry about that. Looking at these magnetic fields, again, they point from north to south. So right here, it's going to look almost constant. And we may get some edge effects kind of like this a little bit. For the most part, right in between there, they're going to be connecting to each other. Now, two south poles. Um, things are going to kind of come in weirdly. These lines are just like electric field lines. They do not cross, um, but they get close to each other. And so we see something kind of like this where there's a dead spot in the middle where we don't have very much magnetic field. So a good thing to remember about these is um, Magnetic field line density indicates the strength of the magnetic field. The closer your lines together, the stronger your magnetic field. And in a case like this, that's almost a constant field. It's not changing too much right there. But over here, you can see the density changing a little bit. So. This magnet is broken in half. Draw the two pieces shown below. Well, the north still is there and the south is still here, but when we broke it in half, we have two new poles. This is why we get that nice little looping in between. Uh, no matter how we break these, magnet these magnets up, they're always going to be a north associated with a south. Um, so, inside the magnet, you can think of it as a whole bunch of separate little magnets that are all north, south, north, south. The magnetic field points from north to south inside of there. And doesn't matter how much you break this down, even on the atomic level, we have little north poles and little south poles. Current carrying wires, we're going to have to use our right hand rules. Uh, so as, as you do this, take your right hand, close your fist and stick your thumb out. You're giving a big thumbs up you're going to stick your thumb in the direction of the current. So if you, and then your fingers are going to wrap in the direction of the magnetic field. So this dot here is current out of the page. So you stick your thumb out of the page and you notice that your fingers wrap around this way. So the magnetic field is making loops around this wire like this and those loops get more spread out as we go. But that direction is determined by what your thumb is doing. Uh, in the same way with this one, you make your little thumbs up sign and you stick your thumb in the direction of the current and your fingers wrap around in the direction of the magnetic field. 
So in this case, the magnetic field is kind of coming out of the page at the top and going into the page at the bottom. So the magnetic field loops around the wire like this. It's going to be really, really important that you know how to find the magnetic field around the wire. So, like we said before, strength of the magnetic field depends on how close the lines are together. So A is our strongest magnetic field. Uh, then, so A is greater than D is greater than C is greater than B because of how close those lines are together. For the North Pole of the Earth, did it again. The North Pole of the Earth is a south magnetic field. And we know this because um, the north side of the compass points to south magnetic poles. We call the North Pole the North Pole because North Poles point to it. So, to make an electromagnet, and you guys did this in class, wrap current carrying wire around an iron core, that's what the uh, nail was. To make it stronger, we need more current. or more wraps. More current and more wraps is going to give me a stronger magnet. So, common uses of magnetism and electromagnets, maybe not so common anymore, are um, cassette tapes. hard drive memory you have a spinning disk and you encode information on it in magnets along with tapes we have VHS tapes those are all magnetic things um, speakers and microphones MRI machines or magnetic resonant images that uses magnetic fields. Uh, the list could go on and on and on and on. Those are some some basic ones for us. All right, and we're done.